ang Department of Agriculture, Bureau of Agricultural Research o BAR ay nagdaos ng National Research Symposium o NRS noong ikapito at ikawalo ng Nobyembre taong 2018 sa Philippine International Convention Center o PICC sa lungsod ng Maynila. This is actually our 30th year, no? Three decades. Ang symposium proper ay ginanap noong ikapito ng Nobyembre. Binigyan ng paggilala ang mga mananaliksik na napili ang research papers na mapabilang sa kompetisyon. The researchers and scientists are from different research institutions. When we say different research institutions from uh, DA research implementing units, staff bureaus, attached agencies, and DA regional field offices, and DA uh, BFAR and BFAR regional field offices. There are also papers coming from state universities and colleges and people's organizations. And we're happy that young researchers no, actively participated in the event. Ang kalahok na research papers ay iprinisinta sa lupa ng mga horado. If you compare it to past years, you'll see significant uh, increase in the number of entries. For this year, actually, uh, we received 176 entries. And um, for different categories, there are actually seven categories. Basic research, uh, applied research, applied research for agriculture and fisheries. When you say applied research, this will cover technology adaptation and technology verification type of research. When we say basic research, these are strategic research. No, uh, they, they conduct the research in laboratory. And this is actually to come up with new technologies or new products, process, or information. And then we also give um, recognition to best paper under socioeconomics, you know, socioeconomic research, um, development category. This is for our on-farm research type of projects. Nagkaroon din ng paligsahan para sa Best Research and Development o R&D Poster. The theme for this year's NRS is generating agriculture and fisheries technology uh, through participatory research and development. So we give emphasis on the participation of the stakeholders, meaning involving them in the implementation of the project right from the start, you know, from the from planning to implementation and in the monitoring and evaluation of projects. And the purpose of this is to ensure sustainability of the project that, because this is really one of the main trusts of the Department of Agriculture. Ang awarding ceremony ng 30th National Research Symposium ay ginanap noong ikawalo ng Nobyembre. Pinagkalooban muna ng special citation ang finalist for Gawad Saka Search for Outstanding Agricultural Researcher. Pagkatapos ay inanunsyo na ang nagwaging Best R&D Papers and Poster. The incentives for the for the winners is uh, we will we'll provide we provided them cash awards 
and of course, research grant. The purpose why we're doing this um, NRS is to give due recognition to our researchers and scientists. Alam naman po natin na lahat ng challenges ay nasa agrikultura po ngayon, magumpisa po sa climatic pattern, sa mga resources na po natin na hindi na lumalaki, yung mga binhi, water management, bibigyan ko po diin. Number one po, dahil hindi po lumalaki ang ating lupa para mapa-increase ang ating pong yield, eh kailangan po natin ng mga hybrid, eh byproduct po na research yan. Pagdating naman po sa losses, mga force for service machineries, tsaka mechanization tools, research din po yan. Yung po pag address po natin ng mga saline intrusion at saka po yung tinatawag natin flood at saka drought variety, research din po yan. Yung pagmamanage po natin ng mga peste na hindi naman po talaga natin pwedeng awas, iwasan, research po yan. At pati po yung buong agricultural practice, eh talaga pong sa research po natin makikita yan. May instruction po ang ating mahal na kalihi, mag mag-research po tayo dun sa mga crops na kung saan ay competitive tayo. I-research din po natin yung lupain at kung alamin natin kung ano po yung climatic, agroclimatic condition, biophysical condition para naman po yung pagtatanim ay hindi masyadong mahal or expensive. And of course, sa PC rin naman po ay patuloy po nating inaaral kung paano yung kapinsalaan na nagawa na po natin dati in the form of marine protected area, closure season, IIUF ay magawa po natin sa pamamagitan po na research. As part of the NRS, we also launched uh, a book entitled Research for the People. This is actually a book on Gawad Saka Outstanding Scientists devoting their works to uplift the lives of farmers and fisher folk. Actually, you'll see in this book the significant accomplishments of the five um, Gawad Saka Outstanding Scientist Awardees. The purpose why we hold symposium is um, to disseminate um, the research-generated technologies. And after this um, event, actually, um, we'll consolidate all the winners, no? the, the best paper, research paper winners. These are actually completed research projects from 2013 to 2018. Ano po talaga ang significance nito? Uh, hindi po ang bilangan ng ilan ang nanalo or ilan na na-research, kundi yung challenge po ay paano po nila magiging applied or mapapagamit po to sa ating mga magsasaka, mangingisda para po lalong gumanda ang ating mapamumuhay po. I'm representing the Central Bicol State University of Agriculture for this study, um, Livelihood Vulnerability Index of Informal Food Sector to climate extremes in Camarines Sur. The focus was particular on the informal food sector because they are covering the entire food value chains. And they are a source, even if they are informal, they are a source of food security and also livelihood opportunities. Their experience has proved to be that they are resilient in terms of calamities. But um, there is um, room for improvement and at the same time, there is a room for us to help these um, sectors, particularly on training and development access to finance, for them to become more resilient and more productive and more sustainable. We believe that they are a good breeding ground for entrepreneurial activities. I believe it's the first that we study the resiliency of the informal food sector. So um, for policy decisions and also for tailor fitting our government programs and projects to help them to become, uh, um, to become one of the players, really key players of our economy. This research was regarding community-based participatory action research and it was implemented in the province of Ilocos Norte. Uh, we showcased the different technologies in 20 hectares involving 38 farmer cooperators showcasing the different technology interventions of this rice-based farming system integrated with cattle production for four years. Ang kagandahan po kasi ng integrated farming, kung lugi yung farmer sa rice, meron pang susunod. Kasi for irrigated rice, it's two times cropping rice followed by mong bean integrated with cattle. For rain-fed, 
after rice, they planted white and yellow corn and uh, integrated with winged bean, integrated with cattle, fattening production. We focus on uh, balanced fertilization rather than a single fertilization technology. We provided them uh, the different inputs, which is soil analyze. Uh, the fertilizers are applied in the right amount, in the right time, and in the right place. And then we capacitated the farmers to culture own vermicompost, uh, the vermiculture. With these technologies, nakita namin na it almost uh, more than 400% increase in income. First of all, I'd like to thank the bar for this uh, award. We got the gold for our project. It's a technology for seed production and development of Karang ignobilis, locally named as Maliputo or Talakitok. It is a high-value species that we can uh, find in the marine and the freshwater. And also, it's a favorite food fish, especially in restaurants. This is the first time that we were able to breed the Carax ignobilis in captivity. We got promising future for this because our partners were able to to rear them in also past the larval rearing, nursery rearing, and hopefully we'll be able to. Uh, get more pilot hatcheries and pilot nursery and grow out areas for the commercialization of this uh, technology. My research is about the development and formulation of seaweed flakes food products. So yung seaweed flakes po kasi, uh, it's, it's rich in iodine. Out of 125 grams of seaweed flakes, you can obtain 80% iodine. Kasi po, yung mga kabataan natin, particularly the young children, uh, 6 years old to 12 years old, ay malaki ang deficiency nila sa iodine na pwedeng mag-result sa iodine deficiency disorder. Pwedeng mag-result sa slow learning, uh, physical defects. So, to help them, na maging uh, healthy sila na pag-alaman namin na yung seaweed na marami sa coastal areas namin sa La Union ay pwedeng gawing uh, seaweed flakes na pwedeng ilagay sa anumang recipe. Karamihan kasi hindi nila uh, gusto yung flakes lang talaga. So we added it to the different products like ice cream, uh, ice candy, Shomai and Maha. Aside from that, yung seaweed flakes, pwede natin gawing thickener, wrapper, and major ingredients in different recipes. Talagang, we are looking forward every year para maka-attend dito sa NRS. Kasi, um, na mamotivate kami to work hard motivated, appreciated, and encouraged. Aside from that, siyempre, um, very happy kami pag nakaka-share kami sa mga ginagawa namin na usually within our area lang. Pero ngayon, uh, it's national, so malalaman nila yung mga importance sa mga projects namin. It's a fulfilling uh, experience for me as a researcher when we always uh, participate in the National Research Symposium. This is the venue wherein we can uh, share our research uh, accomplishment. So we are very excited every year to participate in the National Research Symposium. Sa NRS, naipakita ho namin na pag ganito yung approach, uh, if you engage the community, they will participate, the project will be sustained, and it will be called an action for development. Being a researcher, mostly sa NRS, it's not the price, but yung happiness na naipamahagi namin sa mga farming communities or mostly the farmers.